Hello everyone and welcome to this video of the showcase session series. My name is Hal and as usual we're going to edit a photo using what we've learned in the dark table from A to Z series. We're going to be using this uh, photo from last weekend. As you can see it was quite cold. This was early morning. There are skiers in front of the famous windmills at Kinderdijk and that's actually a canal so it's usually running water and that's how cold it was okay I'll make sure the white balance is on camera reference to be able to use CAT tab to do white balance otherwise I'll get an error message if I try to edit the, the white balance both in the white balance module and then color calibration module but first I would like to crop this image there's a lot going on on the sides that we don't need and I don't think this format works always good to look at the sides and see if there is anything that you can uh, crop out all right let's try this then go back to color calibration go to the CIT tab and I'm going to try one of the AI to see if that works. If you need a refresher on how all of this works, you can check the video in the, the dark table from A to Z series. This looks better. It was a bit early in the morning, so I think this looks a bit too cool for how it was. I'm going to push the temperature a bit up to add a bit of warmth. Is that enough? I think so. Okay, we can see the before and after. Yeah, happy with that. Okay, yeah. It's quite dark, so just gonna push it a bit to the right. That looks much better. Anything else? I think that's it for here. We'll do the rest in the tone equalizer. Okay, tone equalizer. looks okay I'll have a look at the masking maybe we can improve it again as a reminder these are all modules that we've already discussed uh, you can find the videos on the channel if you need a refresher or if you haven't seen them yet so let's push this a little bit towards the middle and then looks good enough I'm not gonna mess about with anything else I think this would work if not we'll get back to it and I'm going I think I'm going to need a few of those I'm going to already as it is duplicate it twice so I can already see that I would like to use one to darken the front of the image and I would like another one to 
add maybe a bit more contrast or just brightness here but for the first one I'm just going to add some contrast just generic contrast just to see how it works let's see yeah it's okay okay yeah the image is a bit dark in some places but it was really early morning it's already brighter than it actually was I think okay that's good enough for this instance I could have as well just used one of the presets I contrast tone curve soft but I like to do it the hard way <laughs> Uh, this way you can fine-tune it as you like you can start with a, a preset and do that as well if you prefer now let's take the second one hmm. it needs some fine-tuning as you can see there was an error message here okay for this one I'm going to add a mask front here okay let's hide that and then I'm going to darken this image uh, just this part of the image a bit I'll feather the mask and let's see how this works now yeah all right the third one again the masking needs a bit of fine-tuning and for this one as well I'm going to add a mask I'll add a path this way I can add, change it if I want to and I'm just going to create an area around the skiers or the skaters I mean here and let's see if we can just lighten the dark parts a bit I don't want it I don't want to see their faces or anything but I just want it let's see We need a little bit here as well. Yeah, this looks okay. We'll put some feathering as well. Let's see, how did that? I don't mind this either. A bit of more definition in the trees. Okay. Again, without and with do we want to add some local contrast? I'm not sure. That's too much definition here. Uh, it's not needed on the skaters. Does it add anything to the windmills in the background? A little bit, but trees as well no, I don't think I think I prefer it without it now let's go back to the color calibration and I'm going to create another one so that we can see the before and after and in this one um, go to red and We'll add some red in the blue. As you 
can see there's more red the highlight portions now let's have a look yeah of course that's way too much let's see if can we add a bit more red in the red that's a bit too much okay reset and let's add a mask a bit higher and then I'm going to try to add some red into the blue get some less blue in the blue <laughs> if you know what I mean yeah that's getting more like it let's see what we did here Do we need to change the colorfulness or brightness? We can try to increase the red a bit and see what that does. Mm, too much and a little bit. Again, I'm going to decrease the blue a bit. Okay, brightness, I don't think we need to touch that. Okay. Do we need to do anything with the color balance? Hmm. We can at least try to increase the output saturation. We need to maybe lighten the mid-tones a bit. Let's see. Yeah, that, that looks good. But maybe darken the shadows a bit. And see how that changes the image. Maybe that was a bit too much for the mid-tones. Okay, we can try changing the colors here as well, but we've already changed it a bit, but let's see. Highlights. I'm going to switch this to RGBL, and then for the highlights I'm going to push the red a bit more again and again a bit less blue what does that do to now okay a bit of saturation uh, before we do that do we need or do we want to change anything in the midtones or in the shadows? No, I don't think so. Oh, alright. The shadows I'm going to try and push it a bit towards yellow. Or is that too much now? fine so what do we have after all of this let's go back 
back to the crop and rotate take a snapshot go back to the end and there you go original image original image color toned and processed well that's it for uh, this showcase session I hope that uh, you enjoyed it if you have any uh, recommendations questions remarks or con uh, corrections please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you next time bye bye